Thousands of people gathered in central Beirut on Sunday for the funeral of slain intelligence officer Wissam al Hassan, a ceremony likely to become a rally against Syrian authorities. Today we are expressing our sadness and pain for the death of Wissam al Hassan, for the country, and for Rafiq al Hariri. We are expressing our feelings. We ask Prime Minister Najib Nkathi to resign today before tomorrow. We ask Najib Mankathi to quit now. If the government resigns, there will be a security void, and this is what they want, those who want to play with Lebanon security. The best thing is if the government stays as it is, till they form a new one. Hassan, who uncovered an alleged Syrian bomb plot inside Lebanon two months ago, died in a car bomb blast that killed seven other people and wounded 80 in Beirut's Ashrafiya district on Friday. Soldiers were deployed in force across Beirut in preparation for the funeral, with squads standing guard at road junctions and stopping cars from entering the downtown area. A mosque in Central Martyr Square, where Hassan is due to be buried, broadcast prayers for the dead early on Sunday. Protesters had blocked roads with burning tires and gunmen took the streets of Beirut and Tripoli on Saturday. In the evening, small groups of protesters waving Lebanese flags marched to the government offices. Sunday's funeral march set off from Hassan's internal security force headquarters in Eshrafiye, passing the site of Friday's bombing before reaching Marcher Square, where he is to be buried alongside former Lebanese Prime Minister Rafiq al-Hariri, killed in a 2005 bombing on the Beirut seafront. Samir Jaja, a Christian political leader and critic of Assad, demanded that Lebanon suspend all security and military agreements with Damascus and expel the Syrian ambassador.